Chapter 123 of Chainsaw Man has introduced a new primal fear. No, it isn't the darkness devil or even the death devil like we originally thought. This new devil is called the falling devil. And although the name might not sound very scary, the appearance and the abilities of this devil are truly terrifying. And the great thing is that we waste no time in this chapter learning what this devil's insane abilities are. We pick up right from the previous chapter where we learned of the prophecy of Nostradamus, where we learned that the apocalypse is coming in July of 19. 1999, but before that, several devils will appear to shepherd in the end of humanity, and the falling devil is the first one of these devils. Well, after this, we see a ton of people just jumping to their deaths without any explanation, right in front of Asa, and all these bodies kind of merge together to make this disgusting amalgamation of human body parts, but without a head. Well, at the beginning of this chapter, we see the devil grab the head off of one of the women that jumped off of the apartment complex and use it as its own. It kind of grabs it and lets levitates it over where their necks should be. And let me just say right now that the design of this character is so amazing. Like, I don't know how Fujimoto just creates these amazing and terrifying character designs for his devils, especially the primal fear devils, because of course I love the darkness devils design, and I definitely love this one. We also learned that this devil likes to kind of play this chef persona where dishing out its abilities and doing its devil deeds and all that is referred to as a coarse meal or using terminology that a chef would. She even goes as far as to create clothes that makes her look like a chef. I have seen in the Reddit space that this is possibly paying homage to the movie The Menu that came out last year that was also apparently one of Fujimoto's favorite films of the entire year. Now of course this is just speculation, this is not confirmed so take this with a grain of salt of course. Well like I said we immediately see the falling devil start using some of its abilities as it declares that it's going to bring out the appetizer course and claps its hands. Well immediately after doing this Asa is taken to a flashback at a specific moment in her past where she's living with this foster family or this orphanage where other foster children are living and being looked after by a certain woman. While the kids are outside playing, this woman approaches Asa who's just sitting there reading with her cat. And if you guys remember, this is the cat that she actually went back to save during an attack from the typhoon devil, which then led to her mother's death. For some reason, this woman is pretty much talking Asa into getting rid of her cat because for one, one of the kids is allergic to it. And also it's the only cat in the entire home. So her argument is, wouldn't you rather this cat be with a family where they can have more than one cat and it can live more happily that way? Well, we then learn that this cat's name is Cramban. Not really sure what that name is referring to. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. And she decides to hand the cat over to the foster mother or whoever their caretaker is. Well, later on that night before she's going to bed, one of the other foster children asks her where her cat is because earlier in the day when they were playing by the river, they saw a very similar cat at the bottom of the river. So Asa turns to the woman and asks, if her cat is okay and all the woman does is stare at her and say everyone here lost their family you can't be the only one with a family member isn't that unfair and this seems to scare Asa awake and just to kind of dwell on that for a second I do not understand the logic behind that nor do I understand why she had such a personal vendetta against a freaking cat like who hates cats come on but anyway regardless this of course was a major moment in Asa's life with some very heavy trauma that honestly probably helps define the person that she is today, this antisocial person that doesn't really trust others. Well, Asa kind of comes to, and to her surprise, and probably all of our surprises as well, she was drifting towards the sky as Yoru kind of snaps her out of it and, and uses her hand to kind of grip on this side railing on the sidewalk. And we get this amazing panel of her kind of just looking at people walking down the sidewalk, and they're all upside down to her. But if you turn the panel around, it clearly shows that she's the one that's upside down, and everyone's just staring at her like, what the hell is going on? And apparently she's not the only person that this is happening to because we see a ton of people drifting towards the sky and it really isn't explained where until the very end of this chapter but before this we cut back to the falling devil who says the lower the heart sinks the higher the body falls that's the concept of this dish may the flavor of past traumas delight your taste buds and what I kind of interpret from all this is that the deeper the trauma someone has the deeper in their traumas that they dwell because of the abilities of the falling devil the higher up in the sky they go and of course the harder they're going to fall. And she also says the concept of this dish, and of course, you know, if we're kind of going off of the chef terminology, a three-course meal, she more than likely will have two other abilities along what we're seeing in this chapter. And immediately after this, we get taken to one of the people that are getting taken towards the sky, and we actually see what appears to be a hell door open up in the sky, and then just takes the guy through it. And unfortunately, in this chapter, we don't see exactly where he goes, but this is possibly alluding to the fact that these people are getting taken to hell to kind of feed 
all the devils that are down there or something. And we're probably going to be in for a very gruesome sight in the next chapter. I also found this really interesting because in my last video, kind of predicting what's coming next or kind of predicting what the prophecy of Nostradamus was kind of entailing, I thought that once the apocalypse actually arrived, the entire sky would be engulfed in the hell doors that we see when we get taken to hell in part one. I kind of thought that as soon as the apocalypse started, as soon as that certain day in July of 1999 actually came, it would literally be hell on earth where the entire sky gets engulfed in these doors and all the devils from hell kind of get let through these doors to pretty much feast on any human in sight. Now, it'd be very interesting to see that before we move on to the other possible abilities that this falling devil has, if Denji shows up in the meantime and he also gets taken to his past traumas, like, are we going to be getting a flashback of his experience with Aki or power or anything else that's kind of happened in his past? Because if we know one thing, Denji is definitely full of tons and tons of trauma. So it'd be fascinating to see if this is kind of Fujimoto's clever way of exploring these moments in Denji's life without going into like direct flashbacks for no reason. Another thing that I hope gets answered in the next chapter or at least the next couple chapters is exactly how this primal fear is on earth because for those of you that don't remember primal fears are the first fears that ever existed in humanity. These innate fears that every human is born with even from like the dawn of man and they're these ultra powerful devils that have never died meaning they have also never left hell. Right now my bet is that they have some kind of contract with the hell devil to allow them to go to earth or some contract with potentially the death devil that's kind of making the hell devil open up these gates to allow these devils to enter earth without having to die. And I'll also say that I'm definitely going to take the L here because I for sure thought that this primal fear that was going to be revealed in this chapter was actually the death devil, but it turned out not to be the case. The cool thing is though that I actually did predict the falling devil to be one of the primal fears in a video that I made not too long ago where I also list a bunch of other potential primal fears and seeing as how in the prophecy of Nostradamus there's going to be several devils shepherding the end of humanity there's a good chance that we might see some more primal devils from the list I made so you definitely want to check out the video you see on your screen right here to get familiar with all of those but that does it for today's video guys I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen in the next chapter and what you think about this new primal fear because it's definitely an interesting one but that being said I'll see you guys in the next video